What's up guys, Hong here from Nitro and we're here at LTM Performance Singapore. Parked behind me is a Porsche Cayman and what we'll be doing tonight will be to show you how to properly install a set of Bilstein shock absorbers onto your car. As you may or may not already know, all Porsche cars are factory fitted with Bilstein shock absorbers. However, like brake pads and tyres, shock absorbers also fall under the wear and tear category and should be checked whenever your car is sent in for servicing. This is to ensure that your car's shock absorbers are functioning properly and are thus safe for use. What we have here are the Bilstein B6 Dantronic shock absorbers for the Porsche Cayman. This set of B6 shock absorbers uses Bilstein's upside down monotube system. This Dantronic system, as you can see with the wire, connects to the Porsche and it's connected to its PASM shock absorber management system and allows the driver to switch between sport and comfort mode inside the car. Before starting, always remember to prepare the right equipment required for the job. Installation time and effort also varies between different cars, so ensure that ample time is allocated to prevent a rush job. A very important factor to remember when installing Bilstein shock absorbers is never to use pneumatic drills and air guns. What you want to use are standard or regular torque wrench equipment when tightening all bolts. Bilstein B6 shock absorbers uses the original springs thus ensuring the same ride height level with improved comfort, stability, control and safety. Monotube suspension systems have a larger surface on the working pistons, effectively increasing both damping power and handling. Improved dissipation of thermal energy outwards also enables better consistency and absorber performance. All Bilstein shock absorbers are tested on the Nürburgring Nordschleifer for unparalleled quality and capability. Once the shock absorbers are installed, be reminded not to fully fasten and secure the mounting bolts. This is to allow for the car's weight to settle properly onto the mountings. Have the car lowered gently before rolling the car forward and backward for about 3 to 5 meters. Only then do you fully fasten and secure all mounting bolts. Once all that is completed, proper alignment will be required alongside fine-tuning of the setup. Proper wheel alignment ensures that the wheels of the car are perpendicular to the road and are parallel to one another. This helps save fuel and above all guarantees safety. For a complete list of applications, please visit www.bilstein.de.